This is Athanar with Midnight, and I'm blowing it up with the Mighty Z on Capital Chaos TV. Hi, it's the Mighty Z of Capital Chaos TV, and we have Athanar of Midnight here. I guess we're uh, in the cavern. Where are we right we're now? We're in the bowels of Berkeley something or other theater here in Berkeley. And uh, it's actually a nice place. It's, it's, we're scumming up the place. We're bringing the rent down here in Berkeley. Coming from Cleveland, we're just taking the rent all the way down here in this beautiful theater. Yeah. Cleveland is uh, currently led by uh, Governor Kasich. Is that right? I'm, 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 I have, <laughs> I have no clue. I'm what do we call a typical apathetic uh, American. Uh, outside of uh, 2006, you've put something out every year since 2003. Is that right? Uh, pretty much, pretty much. You know, there's a lot of, you know, whether it be just some song here or an yeah. album there or a yeah, yeah. single there or whatever the hell. Yeah. yeah, something on the market. Yeah, yeah. For the fans. But yeah, well, for me first, of course, because I'm a greedy bastard. But then if the fans like it, then they like it. But yeah, yeah. We, we love to buy stuff and, and store it. Yeah, yeah, that's consumerism. That's another good American trait. I would imagine you're a collector of some sort. Oh, yeah, very, very collector of souls and uh, records. Yeah. What would you say at the moment is your most prized musical collective? Uh, collectible. Well, it, you know, collectible is one thing. I don't know. Uh, but the things that I like to listen to, are, you know, but prized things I wouldn't give up are Judas Priest records, Black Sabbath records. Uh, but, I mean, there's, there's tons of stuff, you know, uh, uh, Crowley's, Cyber Bells, you know, Japanese things, all the new wave of British heavy metal stuff, Hollow Ground, and all those kind of singles. And Witchfinder General... Your, your, your typical standard Satan, kiss of death. Yeah, there's, there's, there's so much out there. Yeah, oh yeah, tons of stuff. A lot of crap too, but uh, yeah, there's a lot of good music to listen to of all, ty- all types. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, uh, you have uh, three full lengths and uh, one on the way. Yes. Uh, on Metal Blade Records, is that right? Yes, soon to be released on Metal Blade Records, yeah. How, are uh, you excited, uh, how excited are you to be part of the Metal Blades family? Um, it's, it's, it's cool, man. I mean, you know, if I break out a character here and, you know, I could, I could just be the typical asshole and say, you know, whatever, but in all honesty, uh, you know, growing up with that label and, and seeing, you know, bands like Slayer and Bitch and all, you know, uh, bands that I really like, Nasty Savage, and then here I'm putting out a record on the same label. It's, it's, uh, <coughs> excuse me, pretty, uh, surreal, pretty, uh, pretty weird. And uh, you, you've rec- recently released a single, is that correct? Uh, yeah, Rebirth by Blasphemy is a single, that'll, and that song will be on the album. And then there's just a B-side throwaway uh, instrumental. Oh, cool. And uh, would you say that the, uh, does the single pretty much represent the entirety of the new record? No, no, it doesn't. You just can't have one song represent a whole album, that'd be boring as hell. But, uh, but uh, I guess it would represent the general sp- production sound and production value, but the, the songs, I think, are pretty varied, uh, as usual, I think, in my opinion. Uh, is there ever a need for restraint? No. No, not really. Unless, uh, unless it kind of hurts others. You, know, you have to restrain yourself. You don't, you don't want to strangle somebody or, or, or jam your fingers in their eyeballs or something like that. No, but you don't really want to do that. But personal restraint, no, what the hell? It feels, you know, like uh, what's that Chromax? Uh, if you know, it feels right, go out and do it. Whatever. Uh, which of the many instruments you play have you mastered? Skin flute, I've mastered. I've been practicing that ever since pubic times. But uh, no, I've, I haven't mad- mastered any instrument. I don't plan to. That's uh, once you master an in- instrument, then what's the point? That's right. It's over. Yeah, you're done. So if you claim to be an expert on anything, I don't think you are. Do you want to, do you care to share a little a uh, little bit a little bit about Dubai? No. Okay. And uh, anal cunt. We were talking in the uh, lobby about uh, Seth Putnam. Are you? Oh. Uh. No. No. No, no need to go. There. No. That's fine. That's fine. And uh, what makes a good midnight song? You know, it's just it's just um. It's a, that's kind of, kind of it's kind of a, a good question, really. What makes? I guess it's just up up to the uh, the ear of the beholder, right? Uh, so. Um, it's really up to you. But for to me, what makes a good song is just uh, something that you can remember, something that's uh, unique. So if you can get a unique quality without it being ripped off, 
and uh, something that's listenable and memorable. It's a fucking good song. How hard is it to settle when you're writing a song when you know you're you're like, oh, I'm not there yet. I'm yeah. not there yet. Yeah. How hard is that? If if you're not there yet, you just you know. I think some of the you know the best songs uh, they'll, they'll write themselves within in uh, in a couple minutes. Uh, it sounds stupid, but for me, uh, lyrically, even even how dumb and childish the lyrics seem to be from the outside, they're still the uh, toughest part for me to get. You know, the music will come and, and it's pretty easy, but lyrically, sometimes you know it's it's a bit of a challenge to how many r words you can rhyme with hell right. and and uh, to make it interesting. So it's important to rhyme always. Yeah, you got to rhyme, man. You know, it's it's uh, it's 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 a uh, no, you don't have to. You don't have to rhyme always, but you know you get the same vowels in there. It's nice. It makes it. It makes it roll off the tongue nicely right, and more right. genuinely. If if it, if it's a struggle to get off your tongue, and it's a struggle to remember, then fuck it. On uh, "Shocks of Violence," you cover "Quiet Riot." Were some other "Quiet Riot" songs off that album in mind when you uh, came to recording that particular song? Oh, well, that that particular song was. It was originally a, a split with a Japanese band called Abigail. And it was to somewhat finance the tour that we were doing there. Oh. So it was, a, it was what they call a cash-in record. And uh, so I, you know, it, the idea was just to do kind of like a, a Japanese-type song. But instead of doing a Japanese band, my stupid thinking thought it would be funny to do an American band that just released it on a Japanese label. You know, the first two Quiet Rides right. were Japanese oh, only. Yeah, so... I just thought it was okay, you know, slick back clay. Like, yeah, yeah, what the hell? So, you know, I think the, the people who knew knew, the people who didn't know thought it was fucking stupid. For sure, for sure. Now, I just saw uh, last weekend, I saw Sammy Hagar in yeah. concert, yeah. and, uh, you know, he busted out the 80s hits, uh, mm -hmm. I Can't Drive 55. I had totally forgotten how great that song was and how catchy it is. Mm -hmm. You got a chance to uh, see any of your 80s idols, such as maybe Men at Work or. I think Colin Hay is it Colin Hayes? Colin Hay. I think I he is still running he still around does playing some solo uh, solo concerts every once in a while. Yeah, he's been to Cleveland, uh, but uh, no, of course I, I love you know that's 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 my stuff you know the '80s uh, things in general. But um, uh, yeah, it's funny you mentioned Sammy Hagar here. He's a, he's a Bay Area. He's a Bay Area guy. That's right. Yeah, big Montrose fan. Not a big fan of Sammy Hagar with the band Van Halen. Just putting that out there. Oh yeah. I had to suffer through uh, a lot of that, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm always going to see live music. Yeah. That's great. What kind of toys or poster flags can we expect uh, with the Metal Blade release? Well, I'm sorry. Say again? Uh, okay. Will toys? there be any sort of toys or poster flags or uh, any, uh, like, I think I talked to uh, a band recently, they're, they're releasing some tarot cards with their huh. mecha, mega package. Is there oh. any talks of any cool little packaging? Or? <laughs> Not yet. Uh, if, it were, if it were up to me, uh, I would just keep it a black record and a sleeve. And then maybe uh, have one different color just to make it a variant. You know, so, you know like Grand Funk were an American band with uh, gold vinyl or Sabotage. Oh, right blue vinyl it's special but cool. it's a little uh, you know to, you know nowadays there's you know there's too many too many choices uh, you know like uh, you know Devo put it out there uh, years ago and that freedom of choice thing but um there's too much too many choices you got to narrow it down we just got you just, you just, you, you just got to get the music out there and and uh and enjoy the music worry about the uh, what color it's on later how do you like being in complete uh, just a few more questions uh, how do you like being in complete control? Me in complete <laughs> control? You don't know me very well. I do not. Uh, I, I don't think I'm in complete control. I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe I am sometimes. Were there a past band you were in where you did not have full control, or you had no control at all? No. If I was in a band, I mean, it's 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 a band. Right. You know, that's uh. Everybody has their say, but sometimes uh, their say is not good, in my opinion. <laughs> You're on tour with, uh, is, is it Abbath or Abbath? Uh, I believe it's Abbath. Oh, wow. Uh, Abbath. And, and then uh, Devil Master. And a great band? Yes, an obituary, of wow. course. Yeah. How sweet is that? So, how sweet it is to be loved by obituary. Yeah, it was great. Uh, this is the second time we toured with them. And uh, they're just 
fucking street dudes. It's cool. Yeah, they, uh, you know, it, cool as can be. Oh!